Hey folks, today I'm dirtying and hardscaping a tank. I'm on the fifth drain. I'll explain that in just a second. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and this project was so much more involved than I thought it would be. Now, I read the guide uh, that Dustin put out. I bought my own copy, and I read it, and I thought I had a pretty good idea, but man, every time I went to do something, it was just a little bit more tedious, and uh, I thought about it a lot more than I normally would. Normally, I get gravel, and I kind of dump it in there, you know, or maybe I'll layer it with two different kinds of substrate, like is what I've been doing lately, but... This was really interesting, and uh, what I've decided to do is do a part one that's going to be prepping the tank and uh, hardscaping it, and then part two will be planting, because I think it would be just too much to put all together. I shot this over the course of several days, so uh, it's kind of pieced together out of just a lo running log that I kept while I would put this together, and I think it'll give you a good idea of what you can expect, and maybe some tips that I've figured out to get a better dirty tank or try it for the first time, which is scary. Anybody else think it's kind of scary to start a dirty tank? I mean, I was like, eh. I've heard terrible things about it. I've heard great things about it. So uh, I think I can work. I followed the guide as closely as I could just to make sure I had success. And um, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that works. I'm actually about to start planting it, but I want to show you exactly what I did to get to this point. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so part of the process for setting up this started tank is going to be to add red clay. And I could very well have dug some clay out of the backyard and probably baked it in the oven and purified it. But I decided to just spend the eight bucks, which isn't that much, get this huge thing of red clay. This is five pounds of red clay. And uh, this is Mexican pottery clay. And the reason we're going to add it is because this adds iron to your aquarium. So uh, the roots of the plants can kind of find their way over to this and get a source of iron. 
Iron is very important for growing plants and some plants need it more than others. A good test to see if you have enough iron is a plant that should be red will be more red if there's iron in the water somewhere. Now you, plants do absorb iron through the leaves but they absorb quite a bit more through the roots and that's why it's important to put some of this down there. So after reading through Dustin's Dirted Tank Guide he recommends about uh, one pound of this for every 20 gallons. So this should be plenty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna take this flat paper, kinda make me a little surface. So if that guide's correct, then there'll be just a little bit of this that I don't need, about a pound. I'm not sure how I get home that. Oh, this is a real pain in the ass. Probably a smart thing to do at this point would be to get a knife. That would require moving around. Just kind of cut. Oh, I'm probably making these too big. Let's see. That's kind of huge. You know why red clay is red? It's because of the iron content. The iron content makes it this color. That's probably too big. Let's try again here. <laughs> making balls of clay. Making balls clay, making balls clay. That seems better. Here we go. This is going to be too small. Making balls clay, making balls clay. Okay, so I have about half of this brick done. All right, so if it's a pound of this stuff for every 20 pounds, that's about half of this five pound box for the 55, maybe a little bit more than that. Here we go plus this much. So, I've got all my balls in a row. Never thought I'd say that on video. It's time to stick them into the tank. Just like that. It's worth noting that uh, the, the guide says that you might want to dry this out because it can leave uh, some cloudy water. Apparently this can leach, leach a little bit, but pretty much everything in here is gonna do that. And we're gonna do a lot of water changes on this right off the bat. All right, so for this next part, we're gonna use pull filter sand. There are about as many ways to fill your aquarium up without disturbing the substrate as there are types of substrate. Uh, I've seen it done a bunch of different ways. I've never tried this way before. We'll see if it works. The idea is that I'm going to pour the water into this specimen container and then it's going to, the overflow will hit this and then it'll just kind of drift on out. Let's see how that works. This lid, that's what this is, the storage container lid fits pretty perfectly inside of here. Now to start the water. What they tell you to do is to fill and drain your aquarium five times. That's a lot, right? But I guess they'll get out any excess material. I'm gonna go slow right here. Just kind of make it a hole, but luckily I didn't put any dirt in the very front of this, so maybe that'll help some. Fill up number two. I'm told this is normal. It's just gas is being released. Fill up number three. Four. I can't resist. I want to know if it floats. Maybe I'll let it sit in there for a day or so before I drain this this last time. Well, that's probably bad. It's been a few days and uh, it's still just as buoyant as it was before. 
So I'm going to have to figure out a way to tie this to some rocks or secure it to something if I want to use this driftwood in my aquascape. That shouldn't be a big deal. We can work with that. I was hoping it would sink. Usually Malaysian driftwood, like this is uh, the one that came in my, my aquarium box. What I like about this, usually it sinks like right away. Yeah, with no prep whatsoever. So that's one big selling point for Malaysian driftwood. A downside would be the fact that uh, the tannins that it releases are pretty intense. But I actually like the tannins, and they're really good for the fish. They kind of help the water's buffering capacity too, so just something to think about. All right, I'm gonna try to add some hardscape to this dirted tank. And I've got a few things here to work with. Uh, but first thing I need to do is actually drain the tank. I got the python going downstairs. The water will run down into the kitchen and out through the sink. And this is the fourth fill up, so this will be the fourth drain. Leaving one more fill up and drain to do. All right, I'm draining the tank. I'm going to go ahead and start with a hardscape. And uh, to begin with, I've got this massive piece of Malaysian driftwood that I pulled out. It was a 55. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these little pieces of driftwood out, clear the pallet. I might use these for something else. I've been a bit concerned that this driftwood would just look way too different from the other wood and uh, kind of throw it off. But I'm gonna try something. These things are like deer antlers or some shit. Come on! Clay. She is either the clay floating out or me digging in too much. There are many problems. I add a little bit of this magic stuff. As you go, sometimes, oh yeah, I'll see what happens. This thing dug right through the sand. One of the branches dug right through the sand. I'll make sure that the front is clear so that you uh, can scrape the glass later. I don't think you're supposed to mix the different kinds of wood. I've got this other piece too that I could stick in there. But I also have all these rocks. Let me play with these rocks for a bit. Underground necessarily, I'd like it. They're stuck up. Maybe I need to use some more work. I almost liked it like it looks before. That was too much. This will be fill up number five, slightly more exciting because it includes the wood all placed. And that's all for part one. Stick around for part two where we're going to put some plants in here and uh, really finish this out and get it done. Now this is a dirty tank I could do all in one day. Would you guys like to see this as a dirty tank? I've already done a regular one so we could do a dirted one and compare the two. Sound interesting? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. Follow your bliss. Keep a clean tank. I'll see you soon. Bye.